hello everyone i love element art i'm sure you love element art and i want to show you some little cool tricks basically over some next few videos i'm creating and one of these is called shape dividers which is something that not many people realize you can do in element art but it can really add to the design of a page and make it seem much more fluid and make it more defined with your sections i'm just going to show you what i mean first before i actually show you how to do this so normally when you people are creating like sections like this it's normally like a straight line like this kind of divided off like as kind of a rectangle kind of thing but what you can do is you can actually separate things by using little curves like this and you might be thinking well maybe that's an image so maybe that's an image that is making that curved for instance um you know that could be what you thought that's what i thought at one point in my time um it could be that you see stuff like this so on this example here you can see it's got like a little wave at the top in blue and one at the bottom as well and these are called shape dividers and i'm going to show you how to use them so quickly and easily inside elementor i am using elementor pro for this um, I'm actually, I'm not sure if it's an Elementor Pro feature or not. So if you can't see it there, then that will be why. So first off, we will start from scratch just so I can show you this. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to press Add New. And I am going to create a new page. I'm going to call this Shape Dividers just because that is a kind of spell. There we go. I'm going to press Edit with Elementor. And then that's going to bring up Elementor for us so that we can now go in. And I'm going to show you the magic behind this. You're going to get addicted to it. So I do apologize in advance. Please don't overuse it. So one of the first things I'm going to do, as always, is I am actually going to switch this around so that this is actually a full width page. Um, I'm actually going to make it a canvas page because I don't want a header. So I'm just going to make it canvas to get rid of the header and the footer. There we go. So what we are now going to do is we're going to start creating what we want to do. So I'm just going to press the plus here and a section. So I've got a section here and I'm just going to add some padding into this at the top and the bottom. There we go. And then just going to give this a background colour. So I'm just going to go to style. Just going to give it a background colour for now. So just going to use that. And then we will just add, if we are literally not bothered about the design of the actual page. So let's just say it's got a text um, and some image. I'm going to have to actually select an image. Hang on. There we go. We'll choose that. Um, and let's just say add a little bit of text there. I actually want that to be big enough. There we go. So there we go. And it is good. I know we're not designing this like properly, but it's just going to wind me up. But I can actually see the text. There we go. So what we want to do now is we're going to have another section. So I'm actually just going to duplicate this section just for simplicity and change the color of the background to, I don't know, we'll change it to that. There we go. So a bit, oh, it's, it's going to annoy me that I can't see the text. Just hang on. There we go. So here we have two sections. So now what we can use is something called shape dividers to really bring this to life. And it's all about experimenting with shape dividers as well to find the look and theme that suits you. So on this website, what we've gone for is like the curved. And for this one, we've gone for a wave. So what we want to do is click on the section. So at the top, press these little dots in the middle and it's going to bring up the edit section. Now, while you're in the style part, you will see this at the bottom saying shape divider. And this is where the magic comes in. So I'm going to choose bottom so you can have a shape divider at the top and the bottom. I'm just going to choose bottom for this one. And now you will see there is various different types. So the mountains one, this is what it looks like. You might think, oh my God, that looks terrible at the minute. But what you can actually do then is let's just change this to an orange colour to match with our branding. And then if you drag the width, you can change the width. But the height is the main one I often change. So the height, you can see, you can just make it as big or as small as you want. And that just makes it look so much better already. We can use a flip so we can flip things around. and Bring to front, you don't really need to worry about and that's how you can start designing it off. One of my good ones I like is tilt. So tilt's really good. So the tilt, if you get the height right, you can just make it look like a little triangle separator like that. So it just looks like it separates in to the next page nice and easily. And if we had this the same color as the background, you can see now that it looks like that's actually just divided up on the different page. So it's always good sometimes on these shape dividers to match them up with the colour that it's going into. And then you can start doing little effects like this as well. 
it depends obviously what you're using. So for instance, if we go back to mountains, you can see how that works as well. So it's really good for actually figuring out what you want the design to look like. And it is all about playing about. So like, for instance, I used the wave brush. That's what I used on the other page. I'm just going to make it orange so you can clearly see it. And you can see how that would work on the wave brush. So it looks nice and simple. And it really does start transforming your pages. So we have zigzag. We've got little drops like that. So just to make it bigger, just so you can see. We have pyramids. And again, you can flip these up. You can invert them. We also have the triangles. Um, we've got triangle again, and we have the tilt I've already shown you. We've got the tilt. So this one, it actually adds, you know, like a bit of transparency to some of them. Um, we've got a fan. So I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see what that is. Then we have the curve. So the curve one, we probably don't want that big, of course. We probably want to curve that up. And then you could invert it like that. And then if we made it the same colour, you can see how that would work there. Can you see that? We've got another curve. And we've got waves. We've got wave brush, which I've already shown you. We have wave pattern. We've got arrow. So it's just like a little arrow in the middle there. We've got a split, so it just has a little split like that. And book, which is a nice one as well. It looks like an open book. So if I just show you that one, you can see it just looks like a nice open book. And literally, that's as easy as it is. And you can use that throughout your pages then to add a bit more style to it. It could be that you want it to be a total separator. So it's like that, a total divider in there. It totally separates it off. Or it could be that you want to make it the same colour so that it blends in and makes it look like that section has a bit of extra design elements to it. And it's as easy as that. And once you've got the design done, all I encourage you to do is stick to it throughout. So like throughout all our pages, we stick to our little curves that we've got here. Throughout all these pages, they will stick to the waves kind of divider. So always stick to whatever it is that you're actually going to choose to use. And that's it, guys. So I hope you do enjoy that tutorial. Hope you're to see some shape dividers on yours. Please share your links in the comments so I can have a look at them myself. And if you do enjoy this video, please give us a subscribe. And if there's anything you want to learn about Elementor, again, get, let us know and we can get a video out there for you.